What's going on guys? This is Simon from SG and in this video, we're going to go over how to manually migrate a subscription to WooCommerce subscriptions. So with that, let's jump into it. But first, if you're new here, make sure to smash that like and click that subscribe button, the road to 10,000 subscribers. Let's get to it. Okay. So we're going to learn how to manually add a subscription. So maybe you are you know, converting your current subscriptions to WooCommerce subscriptions, and you want to know how to do this process, including having the customer's payment automatically renew after creating the subscription. So how do we do this? Well, first you want to locate your current payment processor. So in my case, I'm using Stripe and that's going to have my customer's tokens. So when I manually add this subscription, and I want to manually migrate it to WooCommerce subscriptions. It has, you know, their Stripe customer ID, and I think it's called their payment ID. But if you're on like Authorized Net or some other payment processor, they will have these tokens that you need to use. So with that, let's jump into it. So I'm going to go to WooCommerce subscriptions, and I'm just going to add a new subscription. So if you're totally migrating all of your customers' orders subscriptions to a new site, you first would need to migrate your customers and then your orders and then your subscriptions. But if you just want to manually you know, migrate one subscription as a test to see how this really works, here's how you would do so. So I'm just gonna do test testing and I already have them as a customer, but they would need to be added as a customer before I can do this. And I have their billing and shipping address and this is really important here. So the payment method is set as manual renewal. So I'm gonna do pay with credit card, debit card. And with that, I get the Stripe customer ID and the Stripe source ID. So if I take this email address, I need to go to Stripe and I need to go to my customers. And if you're on your dashboard and you just click customers, you should be able to see this. So I can click into this customer, right? and I can get their customer ID right here. So if you're looking at my screen, I can get their customer ID right here, and I'm going to copy that, put it right there, and then I'm gonna come back, and I actually need to scroll down to their default um, card that they're using, and I'm gonna go down here, and I'm gonna get this ID right here. So this is the source ID, this is just one of the other tokens, so it's not gonna reveal their card or the card numbers. So I'm gonna get this source ID and I need to copy it right here. Awesome, so I have the customer ID, I have the source ID, and now the next thing I need to do is I'm gonna set the billing schedule. So I'm gonna set this right to every month. And I wanna start, so I can set my start date, I can set you know anything I, wa I wanna do. So I'm gonna set my start date just right now, but you could do a date um, that was, you know, previously, if you have a parent order, but I'm just going to set it right now. Awesome. So I'm going to set this up and then I easily just need to add my products. So they want French roast and one quantity. And I'm going to edit this because I give a 10% discount. Awesome. And then I also want to add shipping and I'm going to add shipping flat rate 4.95, I click save. And then I'm also gonna click recalculate. So this is gonna calculate my tax automatically. So now I'm set up. I have the items in the subscription. I have my Stripe customer ID and source ID, and I'm ready to go. So the next thing I wanna do is I wanna set this to active and I'm gonna click update. Awesome. So I set it to active and I clicked update. And now how do I get the subscription to run right now? So I want it to run a new order right now. So I would have to just go to process renewal and this order actions up here. And I'm gonna click update. And awesome, you can see that an order was um, created and the customer did use you know, their credit debit card. So it's automatically charged. And that means next month um, at this time, their card will automatically charge because we got the Stripe customer ID and the source ID. So make sure to look at what payment processor you're using. And if you go to their documentation page, you know, just type in WooCommerce plus authorized and at WooCommerce plus PayPal, WooCommerce plus 
you know, square and you should be able to get, you know, these tokens that you can use so you can automatically process payments besides having the customer have to re-enter their payment information, which is always a pain. So hope you guys enjoy this. One last tip I want to go over is, so this order right here was, if I click back and do the subscription right here. So this order was set as a renewal order and there should always be one parent order for each subscription. So I'm just going to make this the parent order. But if you already are migrating your subscriptions and you already have a different parent order, you could put that one there. For this one, this is the parent order I want to set. So after I do this, I can see that this relationship is the parent order. And the next payment, if you can see in the schedule to the right, is set as one month from now, February 19th. And just for the fun of it, if I also wanted to process another renewal order right now, I click process renewal and another order was created for that amount. Um, but it actually will charge your customer's card. So that's just another thing if you want to, you know, we're trying to get the hang of this, but this subscription is active. And right here, I'm using the user switching plugin. So this would also be beneficial if you're migrating subscriptions or you want to see what your customer's seeing. Um, if I install this free plugin, I can have uh, the link just to click switch to. And if I click switch to, I can easily see, you know, the customer's next payment date. I can, you know, easily see, you know, what payment methods they have on their account. Tutorial about if you were manually, you know, migrating subscriptions or migrating to WooCommerce subscriptions and you wanted to get a better hand of it, hopefully this was helpful. And now if you want me to create a whole video tutorial about how to migrate, you know, customers orders and subscriptions like all in one um let me know in the comments below and yeah if you guys got value out of this video make sure to hit that like hit that thumbs up all the links can be found in the description box below have a great rest of your day peace